Hello dear friends, this is King Fei Li from We Do Machinery and we are in China, professional in plastic recycling machine. Thank you for your coming and watching. Today I will share some PET bottle plastic recycling machine that can help that can that hope can help you in your project of the recycling machine. And today we will introduce about this PET bottle because in our uh, life, in our life we will contact uh, PET plastic every day. And uh, the PET bottle, PET plastic is uh, one of the biggest uh, plastic type that uh, can recycling easily. So today I will share some information about these bottles recycling, hope can help you. This is normal drinking water. After we finish drinking, usually we will throw up, but this bottle have the value of the recycling. And usually, the people will con connection connection room to recycling again to produce different products like PET strip, PET seat, PET uh, fiber, and the short fiber and the long fiber. Also, they have the technology to bottle to bottle to bottle to recycling the bottle to produce new bottles. And today, I will share some information about our recycling machine. Our recycling machine is mainly called the PET crushing washing recycling machine. And uh, I call the, they have four, four ING. Why call four ING? Because the mainly step have four step and all they have ING. One, one we call the removing. Second is crushing. All called grinding. Three is washing. And the final is drying. You can see they all have ing, 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 ing. So I call they have a four ing. The first uh, remo removing means label removing. Because our bottle, you see our bottle have the label, mostly is PVC. And now have some uh, new product uh, used the BOPP that's more easy to separate. But uh, when, when we recycling them, first we need to separate them. So we need the P label removing machine. And the label removing have weight. Weight type and dry type. Weight type means with water. With water, it has a good function uh, that in some area, the bottle surface is very, very dirty. If with the water, when he removing the labels, it also has the function to cleaning the surface of the bottle. Some, some factory we will call the pre-washing is the same function because the, wa the water can, can wash off the surface dirty on the bottle. And the dry type, Dry type is no water, is uh, cutting, cutting the type, like this, this, the knife, no matter white or dry, they all have a knife to cutting, cutting the labels, the labels in the labels remover can easily, easily to separate, then separate them off, this is the label removing function. Then after the label removing function, we will get this. The drying type, drying type consists 
energy consists of the water, the wet white, the wet the wet type can washing the surface. Then after the after the we get this bottle without labels to the crushing. Crushing also have two types, white type and the dry type. White type also means with water. With water, there have the good function is when he grounding, when he crushing this bottle, it can washing, washing the flakes and also have the function to cooling the blade to make the bottle, to make the crusher the blade knife have a long service life. And the dry type is usually used individual because in the market, they also have the flakes not washing, they sell directly. But that, that price will much lower than the wash the flakes. Also they have hot wash, cold wash. If the hot if is the if the hot wash, the flakes price will higher than the cold wash. And the cold wash price will higher than the not wash. And on the washing, washing they have cold wash. Hot wash also have friction. On this step, there have many different methods to process. Because if you want to get the good grade PET flakes, you you need both cold, hot, and friction. That you can get the better flakes. Better flex that you can to produce a long sober because the IV value is different. Uh, when you produce the long fiber, you need to add some additive that can produce high high grade flex. Also the bottle bottle to bottle flex and the drying drying they have a thermal. Thermal type. Sorry. Also have machinical. Machinical is uh, uh, use the centrifuge. And the thermal is use the hot air. They both have the function to make the uh, moisture lower to get the better quality flakes. And the foot and the crow. The crow crow four step is label removing, crushing, washing, and drying. But to combine them, they also have some other different step to connect them, like a conveyor and a screw loader. So for the whole whole process, we can have an example. The first is, yes, yes. At the beginning, usually we, we recycle the bottle, not like this. They will press. By the, uh, by the scissors, when we get it, we are pressed very small to save, to save the space. And uh, as the PET flakes, they have the the property, they will together. So we need to open them. So that we need the label, that we need the debiller. All called open. Open baler. But before the open baler, we, we all see they have the big cube, big cube PET, PET bottles. We need to open them in individual. To fit in them is not easy, so we need the metal chain. Conveyor.
Then go to the debailer. Debailer to the trauma through the belt conveyor, of course, because they need to connect by the conveyor. Then to the trauma. Because the PET flakes, it stick on the surface. When you press them, they will stick together. Not easy to op, uh, not easy to separate. Trauma function is to make them individual. Bottle to bot, one bottle is one bottle. After the thermal, after the thermal, the bottle will be one by one. That will use the label removing. After the label removing, we can get the bottle without a label. Of course, the label removing machine is not 100%. Not 100%. So, after this, we need the menu, menu to separate. Menu shorting. Menu shorting to can separate the uh, residual labels on after the label remover. Uh, because the label remover can have the function about uh, 85 to 90 percent. Others we need to by menu to separate. After this, that need the menu shorting table. Yes, this is the shorting table. On the shorting table, before, before to the crosser. As they have some metal, metal is very dangerous for the crosser, for the uh, blade and the shaft. So, before, before crosser, we need the metal detector. Then through the conveyor to the crosser. After the crosser, we can get the small flakes. Small flakes uh, need to go to the wash. Of course, to the coat wash, we need the screw loader. Screw loader to connect. Connect to first the coat wash. After cold wash, we have uh, the step to hot wash. In hot washing, we need about 90, 90 degree hot water. Hot water that with hot water also with the caustic soda. Or you can use other type, other type of cleanser. The function is to remove the oil and the dirty by the hot wash because the hot wash is almost the most powerful washing step. So it needs a cleanser, cleaner, to make the flakes more better. After hot wash, we can use. We need to use. Uh, of course. In, the, in this washing step, in this washing step, there have many different. You can use more cold wash, more hot wash, and more friction wash to get a better washing effect. Friction washing is lateral like friction. After this hot wash, there have the caustic soda or other cleanser on the flex surface surface. The, the friction washing can use the clean water and uh, uh, to friction drum, the clean water can wash off the caustic soda or other dirty on the surface, it can get a better uh, PET flakes. After this, we also need the cold wash. 
because this is the final step. We we want to get the more better flakes. After this, need the clean water, full clean water. After this, we can get a, a very good quality PET flakes. Of course, on the surface with the water, so we need a dry drying step. Drying step, we need the dewatering machine. The water new machine is use the centrifuge to dry to dry to dry and this function is very good. In some if you directly sell the flakes, then the water new machine is okay. But if you want to after wash directly to palletizing, that then you need the thermal thermal type, use the hot air. hot air to dry in the surface water to get the more drying flakes. After this, we also can have the zigzag. Zigzag separator, because in the final step, we, we want to get the uh, most best quality flakes. Zigzag can remove the, some powder or some residual flakes in in the flakes. Can get the good quality flakes. And end is the packing. So this is the full step of the PET recycling machine. From the big, big PET bell to open them and to individual to label removing, get the bottles without label, then manual shorting to sure there are no label residue, and then use with the crusher to make the PET flakes. Then is the washing washing part. The washing part have different step. You can have more cold washing or more cold more hot washing, more friction washing, because more washing you can get more better quality flakes. And then is dewatering. Dewatering is to make the flakes drying, then packing. This is the full steps. But the cool, the cool step is this four. Label removing, crushing, washing, drying. I call the 4 ING, 4 in. But the different factory have a different solution. So this is not standard. Different material can reduce or can add more steps to get more better quality flakes. Now I can I will draw in, draw in a sample uh, process to help you understand. Okay, now we're from the beginning. Beginning is a PET bell in big cube, about 1.5 meters, 1.5 meters, 1.5 meters. First stage is a chain belt conveyor.
on here, on there, we feeding, feeding the cube, cube of the PET bottles. Then we get the debater. Debater, debater is open the cube. Then is conveyor. Conveyor to the trauma. Trauma on the trauma they have a different hole. Can remove the small stone or other dirty things. Then belt conveyor. To label remover. Label remover there have a lot of teeth on the surface because the knife teeth can cut in the labels to make them separate. And the the dry type there have the below to separate the labels. After these labels, there will have a, a shorting table. Shorting table means need a menu, menu here to shorting. Of course, there have the metal detector. Metal detector to reject the metals into the crusher. Then belt conveyor into the crusher. The crusher is the white type. On the top, there have, will have water to spread. After crusher. There we all have the screw. Screw. Screw to feed in. To feed in into the cold washing tank. In cold washing tank, there we all separate the PE. PP cap. It's floating on the top. This is P P P P P caps. You can see inside. There we all have the number. It's we are floating after crushing. It's we are floating on the water. Inside is water. And the P T flex we are sink down. Then PET PP caps will separate from the top off. And the PET flakes will keep going on, keep going on. After this, we need a, we need a screw. We need a screw feeding, feeding them into the hot washing tank. Inside, this is hot water, hot water, hot water is 90 degree. Also, adding the caustic soda. In this, of course, we, we use this 100, 1000, for example. After this, again, again a hot washing. That can get a better washing effect. Then cold washing. Oh, oh, sorry. After this, we need a friction washing. Here, now here we also suggest that they have a 
dewatering machine. The dewatering machine can uh, make the hot washing directly separate from the flakes. That will much better to after steps. We got the friction washing. After friction washing, we had already get the very good quality flakes, but we still need the cold wash. More washing step to get more better quality. After this, we also have another another cold washing. After this, we will have the speed, high speed dewatering. The speed will be higher than this one. After the watering machine, we can use the zigzag. At the end, we will pack them. This is the full stage. From the PET bill, to the end, we can get the PET flakes. This is the full, full project. You can see this is the metal chain conveyor. This is the debailer. The, the most, all this belt conveyor and the screw is connect the main part of the washing line. This is the conveyor. Come here. Label remover. Shorting table. This is by manual. And here have the metal detector. Conveyor. Crosser. Screw loader. And this is cold washer. Cold washer. The connect. Screw. Of course, on this step, we can also instead the dewatering machine or the uh, friction washing. Friction washing that can get uh, the function is better than the screw. But uh, this this one is okay too. This can reduce the cost, and this is too hot wash. Hot wash. Also, this one hot wash, and this is dewatering.
friction washing cold wash cold wash dewatering machine This dewatering machine speed is much higher than here. If they have the watering machine, the speed, the here and here speed will lower than this. This is high. That can get a, a more better dewatering effect. And this is zigzag. Of course, between dewatering and zigzag, we can also add the pipe drying system called thermal thermal drying that depends on the customer require they will have a, a heating box heating box and the pipe Then go to zigzag. The difference is uh, the dewatering machine is okay for directly styling, and uh, after this, the the flex will more dry, it can directly platinum. And after this, we will go to the silo. Then packing, packing in two sides. And this will get the clean PET flex. This is the whole PET process from PET bells and get the PET flex. This is the whole project have different steps and the, of course these steps different supplier have different solution because their theory is different they think this step is no necessary no necessary other step is uh, need it's different but the most important is get the clean flakes so we can see that the full step this is the hole here 90 degree water and the caustic soda Metal chain conveyor to make the PET bell directly into the baler to make the bottle individual. Then conveyor to trommel because the bottle have a sticks together. This will running, running to make them more separated. Then go to the label remover to remove remove the label. Manual shorting to shorting the can shorting the different color and also the residual flakes, uh, residual labels. Then, belt conveyor. Of course, they have a metal detector. Then to crosser. Crosser, some place, some people will call the uh, grinder. It's the same thing. It's uh, to make the bottle into small flakes. And then screw to the cold wash. In cold wash, the PP cap, the PP cap will separate. PP cap floating on the bottle on the water and the PT flakes will sink down then separate them after this by screw go to the hot wash hot wash with 90 degree water and uh, caustic soda or other washing sediment or cleaner to make the flakes wash better wash then the watering machine friction washing machine cold washing cold washing all this step, all from cold step to to the end step, its purpose is to make uh, the washing good uh, effect. 
and this is the watering machine. Go to the zigzag, then go to the silo. Of course, here you can add the thermal drying to get the better, get the better water, water moisture. And this, in this part, in this part, if you need, you can also add the color shorter. There have the they have the uh, supplier for the color shorter. The color shorter have the function to separate the green color, brown color from the white color. Also, they have the different function. And uh, okay. this is additional. On color shorter. On color shorter, they mainly have different uh, purpose. Usually for one one thousand five hundred kg per hour, they will have four. This one is reshorting. The flakes, the flakes come from the zigzag. Go to a silo. In this three. But there we will have two X. One X go to the big silo directly. And there have other one. Other one will extend to reshorting. After reshorting, the green one, the 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 color you want to get. We will come back, come back to this, and the final, final flakes, like green or brown, we are packing in other silo. Of course, this is not a standard progress. But this is for your reference. When you invest to recycling field, you can have a look at this step. Hope this can help you. Thank you for your watching. And if you have any question, you can follow me on the WhatsApp or Facebook, Twitter, uh, YouTube. I have my channel. You can search my information on the internet. I will waiting for you. Inquiry. Hope we can establish the long term cooperation. Any question, you can contact me. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Hope you have uh, everything going good in 2021. And hope your family health and better. Best wishes to you. See you. Bye bye. Thank you.